I know. Do what I got in here. So we've had a little bit of a snag, okay? The poor old, what is it, Ranger at Land Rover. She's blowing the top radiator hose coming up this massive hill. So we're just trying to get the radiator hose back on. Small. 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 It's being a little bit naughty. Must be another way. The hose is very soft. Even out here I can only just do it. These are terrible, terrible hose clamps. Uh-oh. So what we managed to do, guys, is we've borrowed the hose clamp from the um, rocker cover um, um, outlet pipe and we've stuck it on the hose and now we've got a U-Butte nice tight. Now we did have a bit of an issue. Someone did drop the other hose clamp. We're not going to mention any words who did it but someone dropped the hose clamp. Now we just got to put this sensor back on, fill it up with some water and hopefully we're ready to go again. James, we're back on the road, mate. All set, ready to go. Let's see what kind of job we did on it. <laughs> Righto, we have arrived at the Great Lakes. As you can see, it's a little chilly. Set the van up. Had a few dramas with Jason's car today, but we managed to fix that. We're up and running again. How you going in there, Jason? All good, mate? All right, we've got about four or five boat ramps we're going to go check now. That's All right, guys, well, we're on the first boat ramp on the Great Lake. Now, there's several different boat ramp areas. We're just trying to get a bit of a rush. We had a few car troubles today, and we're trying to beat the snow because the snow is coming, and it's a bit jolly cold. So what we're going to do, this is the first time we've used our kayak setup. So we've got our little electric motor. We've still got our live scan and hummingbird and everything else fingers crossed it'll go well so we're not going to be going too far maybe 15 20 meters out and that'll be about it so we are going to put in the water all right Jace. well we've cleared this boat ramp absolutely nothing got down to like four and a half meters so plenty deep enough for a car there's just none here plenty of rocks at the beginning this takes a little while getting used to this um kayak. I've been a bit spoilt with the boat. Yeah, and it's about time to get out of the water because it's starting to snow. It's starting to snow now, yep. Time to get out. That might be it for today, unfortunately. Coming up to Cramps Bay Boat Ramp. Another spot on our list. More snow coming in. Yeah, so this is going to be fun. We're about to get hit with a cold blast here in a sec. Yeah. Drops um, off real deep. 
straight away, doesn't it? Yeah, this, this one's a bit deeper than the one we went to yesterday. You can see out there, yeah. heaps deep. All right, let's get this done. Okay. Just to check, um, this is on the other side of Great Lake. Um, we have a few places to check on the way back. Um, yes, but as you can probably see in the distance, we've got a mixture of blue sky and snow, and you can probably hear the breeze. But um, yeah, got to just take it very steady because there's a the water's a little bit rough because we're um, got a little bit of wind today. So. Jason, there's some clear rocks there. Yep. But it's only maximum depth is 3.2. Right, okay. So it ain't big enough. Not deep enough, mate. Yep. Another area checked off. Another one done. So we're sitting at four metres deep, Jace. Following the wall along. It's quite a long road and wall. At the beginning of the wall, there's a whole heap of uh, trees, but it was quite shallow. Righto, well we've just cleared the Lake Binney boat ramp. So that's pretty much now, Lake Binney and Brady's Lake have been cleared. The next spot we have to go to is this little lagoon here. But that's a really shallow one, you reckon? Yeah, um, I've been there uh, a few years ago now, but um, it was pretty shallow, so I'm guessing not much has really changed. So, so. we'll head back to a, the where we put the boat in. Boat ramp. Got and we'll probably put the kayak in here just to clear that bit. But yeah. Yeah. we're making progress, mate. They're two big lakes that we've managed to clear. It's absolutely a beautiful spot. Yeah. If you do ever come down to Tassie, and you like trout fishing or all those kind of things, it's absolutely gorgeous little spot. Very beautiful. Beautiful old forests. And very remote. Absolutely gorgeous. Righto, well, I'll wrap this kind of section up. And um, then we will head off to the next one. Thanks to everyone for sticking with us, supporting us, commenting, liking, donations. All those kind of things help us keep on going and get out there. Alright, uh, God bless. See you in the next bit. Bye. Alright, uh, so where are we now, Jase? We're at Tungatina Lagoon. Now you always said that this was really, really shallow. Yeah, it used, used to be an old sort of fishing spot for me, but um, yeah, it's changed since I've been here last, so... It does look really shallow. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to throw the kayak in, and I will just see how deep it is with the paddle. Yep. And if it's... Deeper than the paddle, not deeper than the paddle, then there's no need to even go in. Yep. Because this is the only access point here. There was an old boat ramp right around near the inlet. Right. Yeah, we're but that's now a restricted this. area, so we can't. Alright, Dan is just the boat ramp. checking the depth of the boat ramp. It is quite deep. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to put the sonar in. Yeah. It gets quite deep. Okay. Too deep to risk it. Yep. Okay. Um, Tungatina Lagoon boat ramp. Um, it actually is a little bit um, deeper than what we thought, so we're going to check. And double make sure that there's no cars in here. 
then it's just setting up sonar and the electric motor and he'll um, just concentrate around here and then we might go to where the old boat ramp next to the intake all right about to check the boat ramp at Arthur's Lake we are right next to the dam wall so we're expecting the water to get very deep very quickly so another one another good one to get um, marked off our, our list it's only a point five at the moment yeah. I'll head, try and head as straight as I can 0.7 Nice flat bottom so far. One point one, one point two. Ooh, that wind blowing me around. Yeah. Uh, you got any deeper? It's only two point seven here. Okay. It's a bit surprising, but the lake is down a bit. 2.9, 3 metres. I'm not sure if you could hear that. He's um, where he is now. He has just hit 3 metres in depth. A lot shallower than I thought. Yeah, it is a lot shallower, shallower than we actually thought, seeing that we're right next to the damn wall. But the lake is actually quite low. So, like, like we've been saying all along, just we've got to be sure, and this is how we're, you know, this is how we know. So we clear it, we don't have to come back, and we know that we've done it. So, um, yeah, so we might not have quite deep enough water. It might get a little bit deeper. We'll soon find out. Dan will, Dan will be letting us know here shortly. Okay, Dan's heading back towards the boat ramp now. Um, he got to a depth of around 7 metres, um, which will slowly get shallower as he comes towards us. Um, not as deep as we thought it was going to be. But another one ticked off. Doesn't look like there's of, um, much in the water. And logs and stuff there that you can clearly see. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing even remotely looking like a vehicle. Yeah. So if you might not have heard that, there's definitely no vehicle in there. It's logs and rocks.